In the realm of scientific exploration, a remarkable journey began many decades ago when researchers embarked on a quest to combat environmental pollution. It was a time when the world began to witness the consequences of human activities on the delicate balance of nature. Contaminated soil and water posed a grave threat, and a solution was desperately sought. In the 1960s, intrepid scientists set out to investigate the power of microorganisms in breaking down organic compounds. They studied the natural inhabitants of our planet, the microscopic heroes that had quietly been at work for centuries. However, they soon discovered that nature's warriors were not always equipped to tackle the complex pollutants that plagued our modern world. As knowledge advanced, a revolutionary idea took root. Genetic engineering could unlock the potential of microorganisms and empower them with newfound capabilities. The concept of genetically modified microorganisms, or GMMs, was born. Scientists from diverse fields, their minds ignited with curiosity and hope, united their efforts to pioneer this new frontier where biotechnology met environmental science. The 1980s and 1990s witnessed a surge of progress and enthusiasm. Funding poured in from governments, environmental agencies, and private organizations, recognizing the immense promise of bioremediation. In labs teeming with excitement, researchers meticulously selected or engineered microorganisms with the ability to break down specific pollutants. The process was not for the faint-hearted. Scientists analyzed the chemical structure and properties of the target contaminant, deciphering its secrets. They toiled diligently, introducing new genes into the microorganism's DNA or modifying existing ones to enhance their metabolic pathways. These genetic modifications aimed to unleash their potential to degrade pollutants more effectively. The laboratory became a playground of discovery, where scientists put the modified microorganisms to the test. They meticulously measured degradation rates, evaluated toxicity levels, and fine-tuned the environmental conditions needed for optimum performance. These experiments revealed insights into the behavior of these genetically modified warriors and their efficiency in combating pollution. But the true test awaited them beyond the confines of the lab. Field trials beckoned, where the GMMs would confront the very contaminants they were designed to conquer. In carefully controlled environments, scientists released the genetically modified microorganisms into polluted soil and water. They watched with bated breath as the battle against pollution unfolded. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months. The diligent researchers monitored the progress of bioremediation, measuring pollutant levels and studying the impact on the surrounding ecosystem. Gradually, hope began to bloom. The results were encouraging, petroleum hydrocarbons were degraded, pesticides were neutralized, and heavy metals were tamed. The power of genetic modification had been harnessed to create a force for environmental healing. However, the path was not without its perils. With the release of genetically modified microorganisms came concerns about unintended consequences and potential risks to ecosystems. Scientists embraced the responsibility to conduct thorough evaluations, weighing the benefits against the potential ecological impact. Regulations and guidelines were established to ensure the safe and ethical implementation of this powerful tool. And so, the story of bioremediation using genetically modified microorganisms continues to unfold. As researchers strive to refine these techniques and address the challenges that lie ahead, they hold within their hands the potential to restore polluted lands, purify tainted waters, and preserve the beauty of our natural world. In this ongoing saga, the fusion of science and nature promises a brighter future, a future where the remarkable powers of microscopic heroes, enhanced through genetic engineering, can turn the tide of pollution and create a harmonious coexistence between humanity and the environment we call home.